Nature is like a friend for me. It's sort of a peacefulness, I guess. A happiness, it's, it's contentment. It's also sort of working in harmony with your environment and relationships, having a relationship with the land, awareness, um, sensitivity. Difficult to describe. I always felt as a child that I was going to be an artist, so it, it is something that I always kind of knew, like sometimes people struggle with what direction they will take in life, and um, I always knew I was going to be an artist, and so I always stayed true to that, and I know there was lots of challenges along the way that, um, that I could have easily, you know, fallen into more of a routine um, job. But I saw the struggles through and um, I eventually just found my way. I, I always feel less is more with the approach to define what I see because it's already there within the stone. So I don't want to impose too strongly upon the stone. My goal is to just very subtly accentuate the features of the stone that are inspiring the vision that I had. I also use my camera to um, capture a vision that I have within a cloud or a tree and then I will um, use that photograph and paint with oil paints and a fine brush on the surface of the photograph to define the vision that I had. So my camera is a way of capturing what I see. I've been doing this for a long time and I've always felt that I've always had what I needed to continue this journey that I'm on. So I always encourage people to follow what they love because it is a magical path and there is going to be times of struggle but that's just part of life and so you kind of have to embrace that struggle and, and let it inspire the creative process. Um, yeah, I, I don't think you can go wrong by following what you love. I think a lot of times people will create something and then they will judge it themselves and, and decide for themselves that this isn't at any part of you know what any artist would create. So then at that point they've stopped themselves. But if they could just get themselves into the flow of creating, create something, keep moving forward and keep creating. Um, at some point you will find that magical moment and then you'll know that you're able to create. My name is Blake Richardson. I'm an artist and I interpret imagery in nature. Uh, I bring out the art in the earth.